Good evening, this is Michael McQuist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9-11, 9-11, and it's Monday, April 19th, 2021. Monday, April 19th, 2021 at 9-11. <clears throat> We're going to uh, go around the world and uh, show you the different forecast. We're gonna start with uh, California. And you see we had, a well, the strongest peak in the last uh, two weeks. Uh, is here on the uh, 17th and the 18th. And most of them peak on the 18th. Here's one in San Diego on the 18th. Ridgecrest, the 18th. Eureka, 18th. Well, up, up near Eureka, um, when you have these large peaks like this on the 18th, the risk uh, extends into the next day. So the risk would be the 18th and the 19th. And up in Northwest California, we had two quakes, 4.0. And a 3.7. Eureka is right here. And you can see this forecast peaked on the 18th into the 19th. So uh, that verified that peak there. And uh, if you look at the Los Angeles forecast, this uh, uh, spike in risk here on the uh, 13th produced a 3.5. And this, this uh, peak here, this elevated risk here was. Uh, is for the 19th today. So it's still expecting uh, at least a 3.5 to 4.0 on, on this peak uh, in risk today. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next um, six hours or so. And then coming up on this uh, spike in risk here, on the 22nd of the 23rd, a 5.0 earthquake is possible or larger on the 22nd of the 23rd in Los Angeles. And you can see that uh, spike is also in San Diego smaller in Ridgecrest and Eureka, and uh, pretty strong there in, in uh, El Centro down near the Salton Sea as well. Looks like the highest risk is in the Los Angeles area uh, on the 22nd of the 23rd. So we'll see what happens. Also very high in San Francisco. Maybe something will happen in between there somewhere. Um, but maybe a significant quake in both spots. Both of them have very elevated risk on the 22nd and 23rd. So we'll keep an eye on that in the next couple of days. All right, let's go to the uh, Hawaii forecast, Hawaii forecast. And uh, a small spike in risk here on the 19th, 54%. And another spike in risk on the 20, late on the 22nd of the 23rd, smaller, about 45, 50% there. All right, let's go to our next uh, forecast is the Alaska forecast. And we have a spike in risk on the 18th and the 19th up in Alaska, 68% uh, risk there in Anchorage. And Seattle forecast. 62% on the 19th, late on the 19th. Let's see if anything has happened over there yet. Still pretty quiet, thank you, yeah, still pretty quiet. And uh, Seattle, let's go to the uh, Athens, Greece forecast. Very strong uh, spike in risk uh, peaks on the 21st into the 22nd. So we could get a 5.5 or larger in the Athens, Greece to, I think the Istanbul is also very high, let's see. Yes, Istanbul, Turkey as well, very high at the 21st and the 22nd. So again, something in, uh, in Greece, Athens, Greece, or to Istanbul, a strong earthquake uh, likely on the 21st into the 22nd. Bogota, Colombia, uh, pretty low risk there, 51% on the 19th. And down in Puerto Rico, uh, the risk spikes on the 22nd, 98%. And Santiago, Chile, uh, this spike in risk here produced this 18th, produced a, uh, I believe it was a, let's go check real quick. Yeah, produced a couple strong earthquakes uh, west of Santiago, a 5.3 and a 5.1. 4.1 and a 4.4. And that was all triggered by this very strong peak and risk on the 18th. All right. And then in, uh, in the Caribbean, 
Uh, we did that one already. Puerto Rico, Chile, okay, Costa Rica. Uh, we still have a, a pretty strong risk here on the 18th and the 19th. So something still is possible uh, down in the San Jose, Costa Rica area. And uh, Croatia, Zagreb, just kind of moderate risk across the, uh, uh, the graph here. One spike here on the 13th. And Cyprus, these two peaks here, the 13th and 15th, produced quakes over in uh, Greece. It's a 5.3 in Southeast Greece, and this is for the Cyprus forecast. But sometimes it'll, these signals will be picked up by, if you're close by, it'll be picked up. So those quakes occurred over in Greece, southern, Southeast Greece. And um, Cyprus and uh, Quito, Ecuador, this, uh, Produced a 4.9 off the coast of Ecuador on this spike in risk here in the 18th and 19th. And uh, El Salvador, this spike in risk produced a 4.1 uh, just west of El Salvador. And in Guatemala, this spike in risk produced a 4.1 and a 4.6. And this one a 4.5. In, in the area of the 52%, 53% on the 21st and the 22nd in Guatemala. You can check all these forecasts over at quakeprediction.com and uh, get a better idea of all this. This is for the island of uh, Iceland and Reykjavik. And uh, this produced a 4.4 on this one. And this is coming up on the 20th, the 62%. This could either trigger an earthquake or uh, make that volcano more uh, active on the 20th. So we'll see what happens. Indonesia, this is Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, this is uh, 4.9 on this peak on the 11th, 4.9 on this spike in risk um, late in the 12th and the 13th. This one produced a 5.1 at 43% risk coming up on the 20th. And this one is for Perugia, Italy. A 4.6 occurred when this uh, spiked here. We have another spike in risk on the 18th, also on the 21st. Now, this is interesting forecast here. This produced a 5.6 here on the 18th in the northeast of Tokyo. And on the 22nd, we could get a uh, 6.0 earthquake northeast of Tokyo or around Tokyo area on the 22nd. So we'll watch that one closely coming up on the 22nd as a spike in risk in the Tokyo area. Lima, Peru. We have a spike here on the 18th and the 19th. Another one here on the late in the 19th and another one here on the late on the 21st. So if you live in Lima, Peru, or any of these countries, you can check out your forecasts and see when these spikes occur. Uh, this is, for example, this line is the 20th. In between here is the 21st. And this would be late on the 21st. This line here is the 22nd. That's how that works. All right, Lima, Peru. And then uh, New Zealand. This is in Wellington, New Zealand. This produced a 4.3. And this one a 4.9. This 86% coming up on the 20th. Nicaragua, uh, Managua, Nicaragua, 92% on the 19th. A nice strong risk there. Could produce a 5.0 earthquake near uh, Managua during the next uh, 24 hours or so. And then uh, this is for the uh, Philippines, Manila. Um, Small spike in risk on the uh, 20th, 60%, and then a little stronger one on the 22nd, uh, early on the 22nd. Taiwan, 5.8 occurred in Taiwan on this uh, spike in risk. And we have a really strong spike coming up on the 22nd into the 23rd, and that could produce a 6.0 earthquake or larger uh, around Taiwan or in the Ryukyu Islands. So we'll keep an eye on that too. So uh, very strong risk in, 
in the Taiwan area on the 20, late on the 22nd and the 23rd. And one more, here's uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, this is the one we talked about with the Athens, Greece, all, also in Athens, Greece, very high risk on the 21st and the 22nd. So either in Istanbul, Turkey or in Athens area, uh, strong risk of a 5.0 or large earthquake on the 21st into the 22nd. Once more in uh, the Los Angeles area, we're looking for this, this spike here is on the uh, early on the 19th. This could produce a um, 3.5 to 4.5 in the Los Angeles area tonight. And then we have a very strong uh, spike in risk on the 22nd to the 23rd, and this could produce a, uh, a 5.0 to 6.0 coming up on the 22nd of the 23rd. And that spike is strong on the San Diego as well. Uh, El Centro is picking it up, that same spike in risk. And I think San Francisco is as well. Yes, very high risk in uh, San Francisco as well on the 22nd. So the 22nd into the 23rd, be on alert across California. Looks like the highest risk is down near uh, Los Angeles, but uh, could occur in any part of the state. Uh, still expecting something significant around the Los Angeles area tonight uh, with that spike on the 19th there. And uh, the 22nd with the 23rd, strong earthquake, most likely near Los Angeles on the 22nd and the 23rd of April. So uh, stay safe, everybody. God bless. And we will keep you informed here at uh, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Thanks for stopping by and please subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you tomorrow.